Hello Collective and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody, I am here um, just checking into the energy, right? What's going on with the energy in love for this weekend? Um, this reading is for the collective, so it may not resonate with all of you, okay? Just take what resonates, everybody. Leave the rest. And thank you so much, everyone, for all of your support. You guys put a huge smile on my face every day every day thank you so much everyone um for everything okay i love you all all right divine what do you have for the collective messages for the collective could be dealing with the virgo energy here yeah man their central focus is apologizing to you doing everything that they can i feel like you can sense this person's energy around you i gotta say um yeah i've got uh virgo aries you could be a gemini you could be a cancer pisces um your person could be a pisces more virgo aries energy like yeah i feel like you're not speaking to this person they may already know um that you've made a decision in this you're protecting yourself you don't trust them uh, you see this person maybe as being toxic in your life. I feel like they've done a lot to harm you. Um, you know, they've done a lot of damage. They've damaged your trust. They've damaged maybe the way you trust others now in the future. You know, you're going to know if, it, if this is you. Um, and, you know, with the two of swords out here, I always say this is hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. Okay, you don't want to have anything to do with any any more toxic people. Nobody coming back in from your past um, that's going to hurt you again. You know, I feel like you just can't trust them anymore. Um, they they're thinking back on this. This is this hermit is facing the past. They're thinking back on how they treated you and how it must have felt for you and the damage that they've caused. They realized that they were impulsive. They made some kind of impulsive move, um, did whatever they wanted to do. You know, the fool acts like a fool. They don't think about the consequences. You know, even, even warnings. I feel like this. you may have even warned this person, you know, um, that they're that they're getting themselves into trouble or something you could have said something like well, what are you what are you doing i feel like you felt there was a really good connection here and there was but this person acted a fool and they screwed it up and now i feel like um you you're getting your own kind of clarity here through your intuition um you're feeling nervous almost like you can sense that somebody wants to come back in and apologize to you you can sense it um and it may be making you put your guard up a little bit more you know um because this is somebody that you feel you can't trust i feel like everything that they did to you collective um is coming back on them okay and they're feeling like uh, this is like a painful ending for your person with the 10 all these swords in their back they may even be thinking to themselves that um they can't believe that you're not speaking to them or you won't let them back in i i honestly don't think this person has even tried to come back in yet i think they're just really close and you can feel that energy you know they may be kind of a bit afraid of confronting you and facing you because they haven't spoken to you for so long they know you're not talking to them they know you have every reason not to trust them you know they already know this they know all the things that they've done to you this is something that this hermit's been thinking about they've been having sleepless nights you've got ten of swords here but in this ten of swords you've got the eight of swords the nine of swords and the ten of swords right You've got them all. This person has been all up in their head, right? Hermit energy. Um, they've, been, uh, they've been confused. They've been worried. They've been anxious. A lot of anxiety. They've been scared to approach you. Um, they've been uh, losing sleep at night. This person hasn't been sleeping. They're just about at the end of their rope. Everything they made you feel is now how they're feeling okay 
Yeah, I'm hearing what what goes around comes back around. Um, I'm hearing that from, um, oh, what is his name, you guys? Oh, darn it. What is his name? Oh, gosh darn it. If you guys know who sings that song, let me know. But this is how, yeah, um, here's the thing. They, this person gave you sleepless nights. Now they're having sleepless nights. They had you all up in, their, in your head. Now they're all up in their head, okay? Um, they may have even made you feel humiliated, um, made you feel like they thought you were a fool. Now they're feeling like a fool, okay? What goes around comes back around, yeah. Yeah, and now they're wishing that somebody would come and make it right, and you're not making anything right. You're not, you're not taking the first step towards this person. They've got to do it. Um, yeah, and I feel like you can feel their energy. They know they can't. I feel like they can't wait much longer on this, I got to say. They know they've got to come back in, but you see this person maybe as a manipulator, you definitely don't see them the same way that you used to because of what they put you through, okay? Yeah, look, now they want to come back in, get things to calmer waters now that you're healed, now that you're abundant. What? Um, I feel like this person really underestimated you before. I feel like they, they came in, they did whatever they wanted, they acted however they wanted, you know, and then they made an impulsive move to leave you and leave you behind and abandon you okay I feel like this person may at one point have thought that you'd always be in peasant clothing that you were working on something they could have laughed at you thought you were a joke um yeah and now it's all coming back on them now they feel like the fool but now they want to come back in now that you're abundant now that you're stable you're successful you're an empress in the minor arcana here. Um, a high priestess. I feel like you're thinking to, the, to yourself, well, they're only coming in for my abundance now. You know what I mean? Now they're only coming in for my abundance when, when I gave them my love, they didn't want it. You know, and I feel like that's what it was. Maybe at the time you were in a, in a time of struggle. We've all been there. But that doesn't mean you're going to stay there. I feel like you guys could have been working on a project or something that they may have thought was never going to amount to anything. And now look at it. Now look, you, it's whatever it is, you become very successful. You worked your way up. You could be a boss, business owner here. Completely transformed. Okay. Um, yeah, but when you, when you maybe at, at one point all you had was off, to offer this person was love but it was the best love they're ever going to find. The Queen of Cups energy, she, her MO is love. Nobody loves better than her. You know, um, this was a gift, I feel, and you're a very spiritual being, so I feel like you're very intuitive, you're empathic, you're nurturing, you're a healer. Okay, you could be a, 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 a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Virgo energy, Cancer, heavy on cancer. And I feel like, um, yeah, maybe at the time all you had to offer them was that awesome love. And they they didn't think it was worth it that much. Maybe they, um, I feel like this person, now they're in the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. See, the Seven of Pentacles, is I feel, is the most underestimated card in the deck. Okay? Because at the time, you're working on something. You're trying to build something and grow something, putting in a lot of hard work, right? Um, and I feel like this person didn't think that you were enough. Now everything is flipped on this person, okay? Everything, everything that they did, everything that they put you through, all your sleepless nights, now they're having them. And you're probably, it looks to me like you're sleeping like a baby to be able to do as much as you do you know, I feel like at one point, maybe they were in the Nine of Pentacles, thought that you would never amount to much, saw you as um, working on something that you weren't able to ha harvest yet, you know, and I feel like now they're in the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like everything is flipped on this person, okay? 
everything. And I, I, I feel like you don't trust them anymore. You don't see them the same way anymore. I feel like it's been too long, um, you know, since they came in and make any made anything right. I feel like this person manipulated you, did whatever they wanted to, and didn't probably didn't even say goodbye. You know, they broke your heart. Now look whose heart is broken. Okay? What goes around comes back around. Yes, they had you crying. They had you heartbroken. Okay? They betrayed you. This is a major betrayal here. They had you in sleepless nights, crying yourself to sleep, um, worried, anxious, wondering what the heck was going on, confused, in the dark. You know what? Now uh, they thought of you as being in the Seven of Pentacles, um, not having enough to offer now they're in the seven of pentacles they had you feeling defeated betrayed backstabbed in pain suffering a painful ending now it's them they had you all up in in your head now it's them they could have laughed at you before and and treated you like you were a fool now they're feeling like a fool everything that they did to you every single thing is coming back around on them okay everything and that's justice. Thank you. Thank you, Divine. <laughs> On the bottom of the deck, right? That is the universe balancing the scales. What goes around comes back around. That's their karmic justice. They're getting their karma. Now they get to feel firsthand how they made you feel collective. And meanwhile, you're out here now healed very spiritual, tapped into the divine, using your intuition, protecting yourself, and becoming successful and happy. You're happier on your own than when this person was in, your, was in your life, betraying you, backstabbing you, and messing with your head. And you're protecting yourself. You've got a lot to protect here. You had to heal from all of this on your own. And now this person wants to come back around. Yeah, they're feeling stuck in this, but they're learning a lesson. They are. They're learning a lesson. Um, this is waking this person up. This is opening their eyes, okay? Yeah, yeah it is. Now they know how they must have made you feel. Yep. Now they're seeing you as this, the true soulmate connection. I feel like through all of this too, you didn't seek any kind of revenge. You didn't retaliate in any kind of way. You allowed this person to make their choices. And they dogged you out and walked all over you and probably threw you to the wolves. And you allowed them to, to make that choice. And now it's time for them to pay the piper. Now they get to feel all that they did to you. This is their karma for hurting an earth angel. Out of all of this, now they can also see um, they should have never done that to you. They did it to the wrong person. They dogged out the wrong person. They threw an earth angel to the wolves. Basically is what they did. You know, they tossed away an earth angel, a true soulmate connection here. Um, somebody that would have never hurt this person. You didn't have any bad intentions for them. I'm actually seeing you as an earth angel, so I know the kind of standards you have. Um, yeah, and now you're being blessed with a new beginning. Now things are switching, right? Now we're talking about the justice, um, their justice being served. Now you're having a new beginning. They're out in the cold. You're getting a lot of abundance. They're losing money, health, opportunities, jobs. They could even be homeless. Now their life is a mess. Okay? And you're getting blessed. Okay? So as this person gets their karma, they're also, you know, this is the rewards, right? Well... Their reward for not making it right with this earth angel would be to lose a lot here. 
and live a life of poverty. Okay, this is a very burdensome life here that this person is in. Okay, and they're feeling stuck in it because they're having to pay the karmic debt. All this person had to do was come in and make things right with an earth angel for all of the pain that they put you through. Not only are they feeling the same pain that they put you through, collective, but um, they're paying for it in their pocketbook and just life stuff. They, they're stuck in their life. Their life is going down the tubes and yours is getting better. You're about to be like double blessed here. Okay, you're already blessed here with these nine pentacles and the most you can have in the deck is ten and you're happy being single you got everything you need here and then some okay but you're also being this is you're being rewarded so expect like sudden money coming in okay unexpected kind of wealth okay for this um for this earth angel mm-hmm Yep, this is justice. Oh, yeah, it's going to put you on the Queen of Pentacles throne. You're taking care of everything I feel by yourself. You know, this is the busiest queen in the deck. This is the, the hard worker here. Very hard work. A lot of work going in. This is why you're being rewarded for all of your hard work, for remaining stable, grounded, um, and peaceful, and loving and nurturing through all of this, okay? you're being rewarded and your person is having things taken away this is the universe balancing these scales and it's all happening right now okay um all right so what else can you show me yeah it wherever they had you at the time now it's them who's in it okay yeah now this person is looking at you like whoa yeah they see you as um you know honestly i feel like new love is coming in here you're about to have other options but yeah your person is looking at you like you're the most abundant person out of everybody that they know and they missed out big time all the illusions are down they can see the situation clearly they know who you are oh they know who you are because they're getting, they're getting majorly spanked by the universe, okay? But you're about to be blessed with new love here, and they get to watch. Do you see? They get to watch. They can see clearly what's going on with you. And I feel like they are watching pretty much everything that you're doing, okay? But yeah, your life is changing. You've got the wheel of fortune here turning in your favor. And you know what? I feel like just as they... Look at this. Just as this person completely ignored you while you were waiting with empty hands while they were giving to somebody else, this is the divine giving to you and making them sit here with these balancing of the scales, that justice, same scales, right? Yep. Now the divine, this is the divine. Now they give to you and they make this person sit here um, being breadcrumbed basically they're they're not giving them anything your person's going to be empty-handed they're losing things in their life the divine is deciding to give to you and bless you ace of pentacles ace of cups you got new love coming in your spiritual abilities are being enhanced okay um, and the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor you're about to be very happy yes this is all the truth <laughs> and your person is stuck stuck because they wouldn't confront the things that they did to you because they avoided making things right with an earth angel when clearly they wronged you so bad yep this is them they're stuck in spiritual jail watching you succeed watching you be blessed and there's nothing they can do about it because that's the position they had you in at one point. And now everything, what goes around, is coming back around. Okay? So, yes, collective, that's awesome. Um, yeah, uh, some of you could even be getting pregnant. You're about to enter into the happiest time of your life, and this person gets to watch. 
and everything about you is being exposed. Like, I feel like um, they know that you're an earth angel. They know that this was a past life soulmate connection. They know that you're abundant and, and successful and happier without them than when you were with them and having your mind played with, okay? They know all of this. I feel like they can see it. They can see it very clearly. And the divine, that's, like I said, I feel like some of you could be in the public eye, okay? Because they're, they're able to see all of these changes for you. Um, yeah. And they're watching everything, okay? So just know that. But, um, yeah, they're seeing everything clearly now. All the illusions are down. They know exactly why they're getting their karma. They know who they were messing with. And they're getting every bit of the turmoil and sadness and hurt that they gave you, okay? Anyway, Collective, that's what I've got for this reading. Just a quick check-in. Um, I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you. Um, please hit that like button, right? If you like this vibe, um, subscribe to the channel if you want to join this awesome soul tribe because we're. I think this is the best soul tribe in the world. <laughs> and until next time, my peeps, take care of you, okay? And peace out.